Canada's education system is widely recognized as one of the world's best due to its top-notch infrastructure, curriculum, and teachers. As a result, teaching jobs in Canada are well-respected, coveted positions that often come with high salaries and benefits. However, most provinces and territories have a shortage of qualified teachers and increasingly require newcomers to fill in-demand roles. Canada welcomes newcomers with the skills and education needed to bridge critical skill gaps by allowing them to apply for permanent residence. There are several immigration programs you can choose from to immigrate to Canada permanently as a teacher. Reasons to move to Canada as a teacher Newcomers from across the globe choose to immigrate to Canada in search of a better quality of life and more lucrative opportunities. As an internationally trained teacher, Canada can be an attractive country to settle in for various reasons, including shortage of skilled teachers at all levels of education. Whether you teach kindergarten or university students, you can find available jobs at your teaching level in Canada. The shortage of teachers and substitute teaching staff is most prominent in British Columbia, BC, Ontario, Saskatchewan and Alberta. Teaching is an in-demand job in most Canadian provinces. No matter which Canadian province or territory you plan to live in, qualified teachers will likely be in high demand. Since there aren't enough domestically trained teachers to meet the local labor market needs, many provinces invite internationally qualified teachers as permanent residents PR, to help bridge skill gaps. The fact that teachers are highly sought after also makes it easier for qualified newcomer teachers to find jobs in Canada soon after their arrival. Teachers earn higher salaries in Canada compared to other countries. According to 2021 OECD data, salaries for experienced primary and secondary school teachers in Canada are the third highest in the world, after Luxembourg and Germany. Although average salaries vary by province, teaching level, and years of experience, most newcomer teachers earn more in Canada than they did in their home countries. Canada welcomes newcomers with the skills and education needed to bridge critical skill gaps by allowing them to apply for permanent residence. Immigration Programs for Internationally Qualified Teachers There are several immigration programs you can choose from to immigrate to Canada permanently as a teacher. Federal Skilled Worker FSW, program The Federal Skilled Worker FSW, Express Entry Program is one of the most popular immigration programs for skilled professionals in Canada. Under Express Entry, Applicants are selected for PR based on their Comprehensive Ranking System CRS, score rather than their occupation. Your CRS score will depend on factors such as your age, education, work experience, language proficiency, and more. You can also qualify for additional points if you have a valid Canadian job offer, a provincial nomination, see below section on PNP, or prior Canadian education or work experience. Provincial Nominee Programs PNP, Many Canadian provinces have their own PNP programs that allow them to nominate applicants who best meet their labor market needs. Depending on the province you want to move to, you may be able to apply for PNP directly or through the Federal Express Entry Program. Some provinces account for the National Occupation Classification NOC, code S of your past work experience, and you will have a better chance of qualifying for PR if the province is looking for teachers at your level. It's important to note provincial labor requirements change over time. Many Canadian provinces have their own PNP programs that allow them to nominate applicants who best meet their labor market needs. Provinces and their PNP streams for teachers. Alberta. Alberta Express Entry Stream, for qualified candidates from the Express Entry Pool. British Columbia Skilled Worker, for professional, management, technical, trade or other skilled workers. Manitoba Skilled Workers Overseas, for experienced foreign workers who have the skills needed in the local labor market. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia Labor Market Priorities, for foreign workers in the express entry system who meet Nova Scotia's labor market needs. New Brunswick. NB Express Entry, for qualified candidates from the express entry system. NB Strategic Initiative Stream, for French-speaking foreign workers with the skills, education, and experience to contribute to the province's economy. Ontario Human Capital Priorities Stream, for skilled workers with relevant work experience, education and language proficiency in French or English. French-speaking skilled worker stream, for French-speaking skilled workers with relevant work experience, education, and language proficiency in both French and English. Saskatchewan Express Entry, for qualified candidates from the Express Entry Pool. Saskatchewan Occupation in Demand, for foreign workers who are skilled in an in-demand occupation, but don't have a job offer in Saskatchewan. Newfoundland and Labrador. NL Express Entry Skilled Worker, 
for skilled workers who have a job offer and an express entry profile. Prince Edward Island skilled workers outside Canada, for foreign workers who have skills needed in the local labor market and a valid job offer. Pay express entry, for skilled workers in the express entry pool. In demand jobs for teachers in Canada. Many provinces and territories require qualified teachers to meet local labor market needs. According to recent provincial and territorial data, the following teaching jobs are most in demand across Canada. British Columbia, BC, University Professors and Lecturers, NOC 41200, previously 4011, Colleges and Vocational Teachers, NOC 41210, previously 4021, Early Childhood Educators, NOC 42202, previously 4214. Quebec. University Professors and Lecturers, NOC 41200, previously 4011, College and Vocational Teachers, NOC 41210, previously 4021, Postgraduate Teaching Assistants, NOC 41201, previously 4012, High School or Secondary School Teachers, NOC 41220, previously 4031, Elementary and Kindergarten Teachers, NOC 41221, previously 4032. Alberta. University Professors and Lecturers, NOC 41200, previously 4011. Nova Scotia. Early Childhood Educators and Assistants, NOC 42202. New Brunswick University Professors and Lecturers, NOC 41200, previously 4011. Newfoundland and Labrador. University Professors and Lecturers, NOC 41200, previously 4011, High School or Secondary School Teachers, NOC 41220, previously 4031. Prince Edward Island University Professors and Lecturers, NOC 41200, previously 4011. Canada's Territories. Early Childhood Educators, NOC 42202, previously 4214, School Principals and Administrators, NOC 40021, previously 0422. Atlantic Immigration Program, AIP. The Atlantic Immigration Program, AIP, is a federal program that allows skilled foreign workers and international students who studied in Canada to settle permanently in one of Canada's Atlantic provinces, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, NB, Prince Edward Island, Pay, or Newfoundland and Labrador, NL. Although the AIP doesn't prioritize teachers over other professionals, you may qualify for the program if you have at least 1,560 hours of paid employment in the last five years, around 30 hours per week for one year, and meet the language requirements. One of the main requirements of the Atlantic Immigration Program is a job offer from an Atlantic Canada employer. You can only qualify for a teaching job after being licensed by the province. This means you will need to get a provincial teaching certificate before applying for PR through the AIP. How to work in Canada as a foreign trained teacher. Before starting your teaching career in Canada, you must meet some basic requirements. Each province territory has its own requirements, but the ones listed below apply to most parts of Canada. Get an Educational Credentials Assessment ECA. If you completed your studies outside Canada, you will need an Educational Credential Assessment ECA, to review your foreign degrees or diplomas and verify that they are valid. Kindergarten and elementary school teachers usually require the equivalent of undergraduate or bachelor's degrees in education and child development. If you plan to teach at the secondary school level, you must have an undergraduate or bachelor's degree in education, as well as in the subject you intend to teach in Canada. The qualification requirements for senior-level teaching positions, such as university professors, are higher and you may need a master's or doctoral degree in your field. Apply for a provincial teaching certificate and license. Teaching is a regulated occupation in Canada and you must be licensed by a province or territory before you can work as a teacher. Luckily, you can start the teaching certification process before you arrive in Canada. It can take time to get certified, so be sure to apply to the College of Teachers or Teaching Regulatory Body in your province, territory as soon as you decide where you want to settle. In most provinces, you must submit your academic transcripts, a teaching certificate from your home country, and a statement of professional standing as part of your certification application. Once your application is approved, you will receive a certificate of qualification or a teaching certificate. Most provinces and territories will require proof that you have good moral character before they grant you a teaching certificate. You may have to provide character references and criminal background check records from your home country or other regions where you previously worked or lived. 
You may also require positive professional references from your current or former employers in the field of education. Some provinces, like Ontario, also require you to complete a sexual abuse prevention program in order to qualify for certification. Language proficiency in English and or French. In most provinces and territories, except Quebec, English is the primary language of curriculum delivery. You will need to submit language test results, such as IELTS or CELPIP, to prove your proficiency in the English language. The minimum Canadian language benchmark CLB, score to qualify may vary by province, territory. If you plan to teach in Quebec or a francophone school in another province, you must be proficient in both English and French. Canada is a great destination for international teachers. Begin the journey now.